Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to install um, Stable Diffusion, aka the uh, AI Image Generator. So, let's get started on that. So, the first thing we're going to do is to git clone it, which by the way, all commands uh, seen in this video will be in the description below. Alright, so we are going to git clone this. And then once that is built, we can CD into it. And then let's take a look. Now that it's all fine and dandy, but our next thing we're going to do is going to be installing, uh, it is kind of extra, but we're going to be installing a web UI Docker, which pretty much puts all this into a graphical user interface for us, which is what we are going to do. So uh, here I am on uh, Adbarho. Uh, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And we're going to use pretty much the top one here. I mean, there's different ones we can use to install, but I'll be doing or there's different web UI dockers, I mean, that we could install. But I am going to pick Automatic uh, 1111. So we'll be doing that. So here is Pages. And we're going to simply git clone it. So git clone and then paste that in there. And then we are going to cd into it so now that is done let's move on to the next step so here we are it's all uh what we got to get cloned um so make sure the uh dependencies are met and follow the instructions available for both nvidia and amg gpus i have a nvidia gpu so i'll be going over the nvidia section first all right so um, most of these things that are here for the dependencies like the Python and Git, this is already for most Linux distros, this is already pre-installed, so you don't even need to really worry too much about this. I'm on KDE Linux, which is Arch based, so I'll be will be so this is already installed for us. Um, but if you're on Debian or Red Hat, you can follow those steps. But like I said, most distros already installed. So let's move on to the next thing. Uh code from the repository pretty much git clone it we already just did that cool um, stable diffusion model checkpoint a file with dot ckpt extension it needs to be downloaded and placed in the model slash stable fusion directory um, official download right here but uh, for me personally when I open up this stuff it wanted this I don't know how to answer this so I did the second option here file storage and as you can see it's four gigabytes I click download and then, uh, I click save but while I've been trying to figure this stuff out in my downloads here I already got the checkpoint file uh, there so it tells us to put this uh, CK this checkpoint file and to the models slash stable diffusion directory so uh, models stable diffusion and we're gonna put that there all right so our final step here is to install a few more things I found this nice helpful guide on, on the internet and we're gonna be using this one but here's how I can let's see so let's get started I'm sorry guys um, so you're gonna download a few more things we're gonna as you can see, if we go to our models, we already have our stable diffusions, which no problem. We put that checkpoint in there. So now we need to uh, add, I'm just going to try and pronounce this acronym, GovGon. Uh, we're going to download that, which we open it up here, this link. You get that to save it. I've already downloaded these. Uh, and for Ezergon folder, I download Lollipop because if you go to Lollipop, it's just a straight download, no problem. Anyways. Um, once you download those, here they are. You want to put the GIFGON into the GIFGON folder. And then you want to put the Lollipop into the uh, Ezergon folder. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so here's our final step, which is to launch the program now that we have everything. But not as simple as that. So as you can see, I already entered the command python3 space launch.py and 
it gave me all this error stuff and so pretty much here is how we can go about it um to do add a few couple launch parameters so the first way is to uh edit the uh web web ui dot uh, shell script which is this down here so um we go over here and see our export command line argument uh we're gonna add this this is gonna be blank when you first start it when you first open it it's gonna be like that you're just gonna add this which will like i said be in the description below um but once you add that we can just simply do the forward slash web ui shell script it might uh if you haven't already installed a few things um probably if you have installed a few things like the uh, the PyTorch or what's not, it will just do this for you. Um, I already did all that beforehand, so pretty much uh, first launch might take a little bit, but uh, second launch, once it does all the installation process, it should be done. And then, so here we are, just moving on, continuing forward, and just give it one second, and then here we are. We should be given a local URL or a public URL. Um, I'm pretty sure for everybody, it should just be this URL. Like the URL is just the same, but this will be generated for us. We can copy this and then we can paste this into here. And then here we are. So now we can start having fun playing. But I'll show you now the second step on how to get to the screen. So our next step is rather, it's not as simple, but it kind of is. Um, it's simply to add those launch parameters that we edit the web UI uh, shell script for. We just pretty much add that and just attach that at the end of our Python 3 space launch.py. We just add those same parameters. Like I said, we press start and then we give it a sec, we give it a second to start running here and then here we go we had the pretty much almost the same IP right here so very good quick side note it only says uh, 7861 here is because I already have 7860 running from the shell script run versus doing this whole Python run that's why it's slightly different but relatively you should have just a 7860 unless somebody else on your LAN on your network is running a uh, <laughs> a stable diffusion web UI so <laughs> um, but yeah so if you look up here um, I zoomed in by the way magnified 120% but if you look up here at the stable diffusion checkpoint you should have a list because we only have one which is our SDV14 checkpoint. Uh, it'll show that. So good. And then pretty much you can do whatever you want here. Uh, toy around with the AI. It's pretty much as a free range here. But uh, I'll just do examples. So um, variation seed. We'll just make that random. We'll just make it 1000. I don't know what really any of this means. But I showed you how to get here. And that's pretty much what matters. Um, let's see. What can I think of? Scenic. And then, uh, hmm. Like I said, you can play around with all this you want. Let's do a short thing. Um, snake. Animal. Nature. Desert. Sandy. Real life. How about that? and um, generate so um, this is running off of your CPU and your GPU by the way uh, it is running locally so it might take a time depending on how uh, strong your computer is and then here we go here's our an AI generate image or snake um, yeah, it looks like a snake. It's I didn't really give it a whole lot to work with, and you know what? If we shrink this down, 
it looks good enough to be a snake. So, um, that here we go. That's how you do. It. This is how you get the pretty much this is the basics on how to get to this point to this UI. Um, the rest of this is just for you to toy around. However, uh, I have a video here that will display on the screen using the YouTube whatever call it. Pretty much just a link to uh, to our, our next thing we can do to toy around with this, which is uh, probably what most of you culture men out there, and women too, they do exist. Um, let's make this anime-fied. Let's get the AI making some anime babes. But that's for this next video. Click on it, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. God bless. Final thing. Uh, it automatically saves it, by the way.